everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are back on the server. Now, in the last episode, we, we messed around with um, a little bit of mine colonies, but that wasn't the focus. What was the focus? What did we do? You know what? As per usual, not a clue. <laughs> I have no idea what we did. Um, oh, you know what? Once again, I remember. We made the flux bore with efficiency 15. That guy's pretty crazy. Now, I, I did get some advice on how we can take that experience level, to take that um, efficiency level even higher, quite easily. That will likely be in the next episode. This episode, I've got something else on my eye. The Infinity Nuke. This thing sounds pretty fun. Now, we will have to do a little bit of prep because I don't believe we have any ether gas. So we are going to have to get that. I'll check our system. Ether gas. Ether. No, I, I'm. We, we just don't have it. Luckily, we can make it. I'm going to need some soul sand, um, which we should have plenty of, and then some wither skulls, which we should have an insane amount of, which, yes, we do. Let's also double check, because we're getting our wither skulls from, um, where is it? Um, from this guy up here? One of these? Uh, this guy, maybe. Mm, this guy? Yeah. We're still burning through the, um, the, the predictions, because we're also meant to be getting, like, ghasts here. Oh, you know what? Maybe we have burned through them. I think we haven't. I think we're just now getting, like, through all the extra ones. Okay. But yeah. Anyway, we, we have some skulls. So that's pretty good. Now, I believe we still ha have uh, this system set up over at Processing um, for our wither. Yep, this guy here. So, essentially, all I need to do is hop into here and place down a, um, well, a wither. So, we're going to do this, this, and this. I'm going to go bam, bam, and bam. I'm going to hop out. We're going to place our tinted glass, and we're going to hope that it doesn't blow up the the thing here. In fact, hold on. I am a little bit worried, to be completely honest with you, that it will. So let me do this and this. Oh no, I can't even place one there. It's not getting placed. There we go. Um, these guys were set up way back in the day, as you can see. Um, nowadays, nowadays we use ender gates. You know, they are they're just a little bit, a little bit neater, a little bit neater. I guess we'll say. So I'll place this guy here, this guy here. Hopefully that'll mean this guy will work. He doesn't have any upgrades in him, so we're actually going to have to do industrial... I'm going to have to grab out some upgrades, processing efficiency and speed. Um, what can we get? We can usually get one speed, one efficiency, and then processing. Oh, apparently only one of each we can put in, so there we go. One of each. Um, hopefully that's good enough. It looks like the wither has spawned, possibly. Does this guy need power? I don't think he does. He should just work. That's, <laughs> that's what should be happening right now. He should simply just be working oh yeah okay it is filling up and once it does it it should be getting us ether gas currently as you can possibly tell it's not you know what the wither hasn't exploded yet though so i think maybe it's not actually done yet like it hasn't actually fully spawned yet although i think it has because we have a stasis field down here let's um while we're here let's let's go through here we have this guy a stasis chamber Apparently, he's getting power, which I'm grateful for, but he's stopping this guy from, um, you know, moving or doing anything. Hmm. I'm, I'm a little bit not sure, because we should be getting ether, but we're clearly not. Um, why is that? <laughs> why is that indeed? Let's try... I'm going to pick it up and place it again, like so. See if that maybe does anything. I know it says that it has, like, a bar for power, but inside it doesn't have a bar for power. Um, let's try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just slap an ender gate on it, because why not? Going to slap this guy, I guess, on top. Why not? Yeah, you can see it didn't fill up with power, so I don't think that's the issue. Um, the next thing we want to do is search ether. Click on the gas. And we should be able to see... Oh, we need a purple lens, it looks like. Oh. And we don't even get it from a wither anymore? Okay. I'll tell you what. Um, what I might go ahead and do... Is this wither going to die? No. Am I able to put the wither in an imprisonment tool? Because I don't... I'm sort of done with him, you know? Can we pick him up? No, okay. Um... Hmm. I might just leave him there for eternity. <laughs> we, we don't need him anymore. Ah, oh, okay. Apparently we just put this in the wither. In the, um, ever. In the, in the, what's the, what's the word called? In the, um, the end. So I, I guess I'll meet you guys in the end. Apparently that's, uh, what we're doing today. All right, so here we go. I'm going to slap down my uh, drill there. I'm going to place a few template blocks here and there to place my drills, which need to place the right way like that, so that the hole's facing that way. So I'm going to place these two. I'm going to obviously give them some power. 
so they can run. Um, I forgot to make a purple lens. Do we have a purple lens? Because I know we do. Oh, industrial, yep, yeah, industrial four going. Okay, beautiful. That's wonderful. That shouldn't take too long at all. We obviously have the speed upgrade, so let's put those in. Let's put both of those in. Um, anything in here yet? Nope, okay. Purple lens should be on its way. Um, I might have to go back. I don't know if we've got a uh, chunk load at the moment. Um, minimum zero, maximum anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back and get that stuff loaded. So I'll head back to the uh, processing area so that that can hopefully be crafted. Okay, that did not take long at all. Let's um, go right back to where we came from. Da, da, da. Oh, no. Da, 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 da. Back through here. <laughs> I should have just cut while I was in the end. I apologize. Listen, it happens. Um, our lenses are going to go in, and magically, we should get... Ether. We should get, we should get the good stuff. Did I... Hold on, hold on. Am I dumb? Does it say wither? Yeah, it does say wither. <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, listen. Today, today is not a smart day, okay? I, l let me, let me preemptively warn you. The rest of this episode isn't going to get any better. <laughs> I, I clearly, I'm, I'm out of it. I don't know what I'm doing. This does work. I don't know why... I misread wither as end. That's, um, that's not it. That's not it. Okay, let's try this again. Laser base, laser base. All we were missing was the purple lens. That should now work beautifully. Place that, that, and that. Slap that there. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Go there. Boom, 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 boom. This should now be good. We should now have either. Yes, as you can see, we have 10. Beautiful. This guy can actually take some upgrades. He might be able to take more processing ones. So let me go ahead and order more processing ones. Um, let's just get four for now. We, we don't want to craft too many at once or else we'll be waiting here all day. Um, but that should hopefully... Um, I might actually have to fly over to the, the area, which is just here. So actually, I probably shouldn't have to. Yep, we got one. First of all, let's see if it's worth waiting for the others. Can it take one? Bam, yep. And we can probably put in the other one, I would imagine, too. So let's grab one of those. Open this guy up. And there we go. Okay, now if we wanted it to be even faster, you guessed it, we can get a few more laser drills. So let, let me search laser drill and let me order 10 of them. 10 of them. Yeah, yeah, 10 of them. Oh, listen, that is what I love to see. Um, let's also, do we need anything else? We might need other stuff. For now though, this should be fine. I'm going to slap this here, make sure I put in all the upgrades and then I'm going to get um, an ender doo -doo -doo gate. Slap this guy there. He's good. Yep. Target's found. He's getting a either gas. Now, how many do we need? How much do we need? We need two buckets worth. So we will have to make sure that this guy is running pretty well. Um, let me search for the laser drills again. Now it's possible that you can do this. Now at the moment, it says it's not found. Once this works once, it will tell you, yep, it's found one. So you can do this. Oh, uh, assuming there's not a, um, ender gate in the way, you can do that. So as you can see, our ability to place more drills has become profound. Uh, let me order another 10 because we're about to generate some ether <laughs> or ether or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Um, we're going to do that. I'm going to search ender gates. I'm going to grab out all the ender gates I have. And then I'm probably going to have to order like 10 more and take these guys out too. Yep. There we go. Grab all those. Um, at industrial, we're going to need a lot more speed upgrades. So I'm going to order 10 of each, 10 speed, 10 efficiency, and 10 more processing. Once again, hopefully they don't take too long. In the meantime, we can slap on our upgrades like so. Boom, boom. Or our, uh, not our upgrades, sorry, but our um, power. And we can chuck in what we have and get them to go a little bit faster. All right, um, we're not fully upgraded. We still need a few more processing ones in these, but as you can see, we're, we're pretty much there. We only need 2000. So, so far, I'd say so good. Um, what I can do now, most likely, is go ahead and entangle this guy and slap him on like some sort of tank to go in. Um, so let's go entangle block. Um, where can we slap it down? Uh, we've got an import here, so <laughs> why not? I'm gonna slap this guy on here. Make sure this guy's importing fluids. I, I don't think that'll count. Because I don't think it's a fluid, but we'll see. Is there now ether? There is! Beautiful! Okay, nice. Ether gas works as a fluid. Good to know. Um, so, once again, we're, we're just in a waiting game. I was waiting for pro processing ones. Oh, there we go. I can chuck these in now. And suddenly, things should be a l just the tiniest bit faster. And ladies and gentlemen, we have two buckets worth. Beautiful. 
What is next, you might be wondering? Well, I need to grab a pattern grid and a pattern. I need to slap this guy down, I guess here, that's fine. Pattern will go in and I would like to craft an infinity nuke, please. So I'm gonna paste in this recipe, click that in. That should bring the ether gas with it, uh, two buckets worth. Then we can go ahead and fly over in this direction. Da -da 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 -da. And hopefully I can slap it in here, right in there, infinity nuke. So I should now be able to search infinity. I should be able to get in an infinity nuke, which it says we can craft. I'm going to craft it. Everything should plop in here. Yep. The two buckets of ether gas. Here we go. Now this guy, there's a few things that are going to happen. First thing is it's going to start charging in my inventory. Uh, ooh, no, it's not. Um, infinity nuke. Okay. It's going to start charging my inventory as you can see. Pretty cool. Um, if I go right back to my base though, so if we go through here and back to the base, if we go back to our base, we have something that works a little bit better and that is the infinity charger. Okay. I've got a bunch of uh, flux points on here to obviously get all the power it needs. But if I go ahead and chuck in this infinity nuke, it charges pretty quickly. You can now see it's at tier legendary. Um, so, so far so good. Uh, it also says it needs biofuel. I don't know if it does. Do we have biofuel? We don't at the moment. That's a little bit worrying. Um, let me search. Do we have much blue dye lying around? We do. Let me grab all this out. The blue dye can be broken down into uh, the good stuff, I believe. Yeah, into biofuel. Um, I guess we'll let that run. Hopefully that that'll be enough. Um, but here we go. Infinity nuke. As you can see, it'll keep charging. It'll charge pretty quickly. But what we can do is see what level it already is at. So if I hold it and I shift right click in the air, we get a little menu to pop up. So there's a spot for biofuel, I guess. Uh, a spot for power, uh, charging, whether that's enabled, and then the area. We can currently make this guy explode in a 109 chunk radius. I'm going to keep him in here to see if we can get him that extra mile to see what level we can get him to. We'll leave him here for a little bit, see see just how high we can get it to go. Um, and then we'll also generate some biofuel, which honestly, it's generating pretty well. How much can it hold? Oh, it can hold, uh, it can hold a thousand buckets. Ah. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna, we're probably gonna need a different, I don't know. I'm sure it'll be enough. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll tell you what, we've got infinite blue dye, courtesy of, um, where is it? Courtesy of this stuff, like look, infinite blue dye. Okay, blue dye is not an issue. I'll do this stuff off camera and we'll charge this guy off camera and I'll be back. All right, it's been about 10 seconds. Um, and as you can see, it is fully charged. That is pretty impressive. Um, we've got the biofuel as well. Um, it can do, apparently, a radius of 259. I'll tell you what, that sounds pretty good. Um, so where should we put this guy? What are we thinking? Um, we do it in our house, but honestly, it's a pretty big radius, right? Like if we have a look at our map, each of these are a chunk. It is apparently going to do 200 blocks, like 200 chunks worth in every direction. So I'm thinking, should we just slap it right in the middle? Is that a good idea? Maybe we can catch some of the uh, surrounding bases. I reckon that, that'll be good. So I'll go, what do you reckon? Right in the middle. Let's go right here. All right. So here we are. Oh, nice. Is this our dog? No, it's not. Okay. Well, I feel guilty now. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, you know what? I feel too guilty. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We'll we'll save this little guy. There you go, buddy. Okay. Um. So I reckon this is a pretty good spot. I reckon let's slap this guy down right here. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, I believe we also need a flint and steel for this guy. So let's grab a flint and steel. Um, how are we feeling? Are we, is this good? Oh, actually, no. I forgot to um, configure it, didn't I? Or is it already max? Ah, it's already max. Yeah, nice. 200. Beautiful. It's shiny. Shiny? What does shiny do? I don't know. It's shiny, though. Okay. Let's slap it down again. Here we go. Ooh. There's some, some lightning coming off of it. Okay. Let's go ahead and right-click this guy to set him up ready. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear it. And then we're going to go ahead and light it with our flint and steel. Just like that. And it makes a pretty cool noise. All right. And then we just watch it. Okay. It sounds like it's charging up. Okay. Oh. It stopped making noises. <laughs> I don't know why it's not making a noise. All right, we have, do we have our armor on? Surely our, surely our armor is good enough, right? Oh, 
Oh my god, that rumbling. That actually sounds like a like a thunderstorm is rolling in. In real life. I don't know if you guys have immersive headsets on, but that is beautiful. Alright. Place your bets. Do we die? Huh. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> um, okay. You know what? Those of you placing your bets on whether we would die, did you place bets on whether the server would die? Look at that. I think it... Did it take our hearts? I don't think we took any damage. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we took any damage. And it's... And it's done. And it's done. Okay. Well. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Um. Hopefully... Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do consider subscribing. And um, and um, yeah, thank you to everyone who supported me financially uh, in the past. Seriously, guys, th thank you so much. This past year, this entire journey of the mod pack has been has been extremely fun. Um, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let me. Oh god. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Let's 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 at least see what damage we did. Okay. Um, we do appear to be in. Honestly. It's not looking as big as I thought it would be. I mean, this this looks incredibly small. I'm starting to think, just based on how this cut off, do you think because the server crashed, it didn't go that far? Do you think that's a possibility? I sort of feel like that is a possibility. But I feel, I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty decent size. I reckon, I reckon it can go fine. It's definitely not 200 block radius. Um, oh, there's also a lot of blocks on the ground. Oh, all the terracotta and stuff. All the chests that we broke. Okay, yep. Let's go put all that stuff away. Oddly enough, we're able to put it away into our refined storage system that I guess survived. Nice. Okay. Um, so, I reckon... I reckon we order another one in. Oh, did we blow up our um, thing? You know, I don't know if we'd be able to make another one. Let's, um, let's see if we have the resources for it. All right, we did manage to make another one. Um, so we'll come over here and I kind of wanted to blow up at like an even level around here. So what I'm thinking we do is grab a scaffolding, place it here, place this guy on top. And does that, does that sound good now? Um, oh, actually before we do this, hold on. Let's maybe, yeah, let's set it to, yeah, 160. Let, let's go for 163. Okay, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a nice level there. So let's place this guy down. Let's um, prime him up, get him ready for it. And set him off. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a little bit bigger of an explosion and the server survives. That's obviously the key here, is for the server not to just die again. But but we'll see. We'll see. So it's doing that first sound. We know that's a normal sound. And then it will start doing the rumbling. It will start to do the rumbling and then it will explode. And then we just hope that the server doesn't crash so that we get the biggest explosion possible. Okay, fingers crossed. Come on. Otherwise, we'll probably just have to go around placing a few of them, you know? Really make a nice mess here. But, but I mean, if we can get one that does all of it, that's, that's obviously ideal. Okay. As you can see, it definitely went a bit further. If you look at our minimap in the top right, you can sort of get a scale of the fact that the entire minimap does appear to have been a... <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Okay, okay. You know what? Before I even do that, I I want to try the biggest explosion now because I can already feel that this is gonna. Ah, uh, you know what? But let's let's give it a look. So let's go back to our base over here. Let's see. There's our Nether portal. The Nether portal lived. That's that's good to note. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly! Did our tower survive? I think our tower might have actually survived here. Okay, the server does look like it's still struggling a little bit. We've also got what I can only imagine is a billion blocks that's about to enter our inventory. Okay, the dome got decimated. Absolutely pulverized. Holy moly. Okay. Once again, we are just waiting on the server to sort of wrap its head around what has just forsaken upon it. <laughs> I don't even know what words I'm saying. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Hey, that's pretty good. The tower stands tall. It stands strong. Beautiful. Um, now, I can't open my uh, thing to put stuff away, so that's a little bit of a problem, but um, we'll figure things out. It's a pretty decent explosion, okay? Like, look at here. The dome, there's still part of the dome alive. Um, we can come over here. 
We got we got some tree carcasses. Um, lots of water flowing into the massive crater that we've made. The um, area over here is all broken. Let's see. The ship and our mine colony village is still alive. That's... I think we can do better. I think we can do better. The SPS, standing strong. It is blast resistant. Um, or at least it is for now. Oh, <laughs> the reactor remnants, our processing area. All right. Let's see if we can um, scratch together with all these resources um, another nuke and see if we can do the full explosion. Because look, our bees still survived. We can't, we can't be having that. All right, so once again, I kind of want to go from like a nice even playing ground. I don't want it to go any further down. So we'll go once again, just about here. Looks pretty good. Um, this time, obviously, we want the nuke to be max level. So it is going to be 259 radius. Let's see if it actually gets it done this time. So let's slap this guy down, toggle him on. And set this bad boy off. And once again, fingers crossed that the server makes it through. There should be, to be fair, there should be a lot less um, stuff to work with. I'm hoping we at least get the um, this area with this one. Ideally, we wipe out the surrounding base as well. Maybe a bit more of the ocean. Let's have a look. Um, it's about 100 more blocks. Or 100 more chunks, sorry. Compared to the explosion we just did. It's almost double. Um, so... The rumbling should happen soon. Yep, here's the rumbling. I'm going to stand absolutely stationary. Just let the server do everything it can. Are you braced? Are you holding on? I, oh, okay. Yep. It's still ominous. So this explosion last time crashed the server. If it does again, we might have to just go around with those smaller explosions. Okay. Once again, I'm not moving. Okay, you can see all the chunks just updated in front of me. And you can see on the map they're updating again. You can see it's a much bigger explosion this time. All of the lighting is now updating because the explosion happened that quickly that the game or the server can't comprehend that now those like um, blocks are exposed to sunlight. So there we go. A much You can see now the level of explosion. It's actually going into the water. This is all that's loaded in on my map. So now... Let's go and see what it's looking like over at our base. You can see, oh, we found some uh, some stellar stellarite ores. Um, we might have to wait for the server to, yep, catch up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the graveyard. Oh my god. Okay, this is an explosion. Oh my god, that's the tower. This right here is the crafting tower. Oh look, our we still got power. That's good. We've got power and avoid miner. Listen. This, realistically, this is all you need. We're good. We are genuinely good to go again. Let's have a look at this. Oh my god. Okay, so this is the, this is the range of it. This appears to be the full extent. Let's, um, what is that down there? Like a underwater thing that is no longer underwater. Um, once again, we'll wait for the map to load in. I'm wanting to head around now this time to, um, oh yeah. So the root area is all gone. Let's, let's slowly get closer to the, uh, the mine colony base. If, once again, if it lets me, I might have to clear some of these, uh, entities. Okay, um, so here we are. We're, we're, we're back. Um, I ended up timing out of the entire server, but hopefully the explosion still happened. We're gonna keep going this direction. This is, oh yeah. Ooh, it looks like part of the village is about to get destroyed, but not the entire thing. Let's, um, keep going. So this is the max level, as far as I'm aware, infinity nuke. Um... The biggest explosion, at least as far as I'm aware, in this pack. It's possible that a, um, a, what do you call it? A draconic reactor might explode even further. Should we give that a try? Should I just qu quickly, I'll just quickly put together, I'll slap together a, a, a reactor right here. How does that sound? I reckon that sounds pretty good. Okay, currently we have an emergency shield that's, uh, stopping this explosion from happening just yet. It's currently calculating how long until the boom um, the temperature is obviously rising and it's telling me to run. <laughs> We're not here to run. Um, it says calculating. It doesn't have a time. It's not, it's not actually sure when it's going to explode. Um, interesting. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Oh, there we go. 127 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, I will meet you guys back here for a big boom. Ladies and gentlemen, once this reaches 10,000 degrees, we're getting an explosion in approximately seven seconds. This miniature sun is about to unleash upon this, uh, upon this planet. Let's, um, let's make sure we're buckled in. Ladies. 
and gentlemen. That's a big explosion. Oh my god, I'm really excited to hopefully respawn. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> I, that looked insane. Okay. I Listen, it's a good thing we had these disabled on the... <laughs> it's a good thing we had these disabled, let me just say that. My god. Okay. The server might be frozen at the moment. I'm going to have to wait. Uh, until it lets me respawn, so I'll be back, and let's see, let's, let's try and grasp just how big this explosion was. How does that sound? Okay, um, oh, <laughs> instantly frozen. Uh, we're, we're back in. Um, I wasn't expecting to freeze here, so I started talking, but of course we froze, because what, what would a, what would a, you know, login be? Why do I have a bed here? Is this my bed? At the astral, okay, well, at least we know that it didn't reach here, Okay. At least we know that. So how about I start walking back to the to the base and we see when and, and just how far it got to, right? Well, let's see. Um I've I've obviously got to go back to my grave to, to get the goodies. Oh, is this is this a crater? No, this is just part of the map. Okay. I'll um I'll come back once we've encountered something that doesn't look naturally generated, even though this sort of doesn't look naturally, but we'll, we'll, I'll I'll be back. I'll be back. On my way back, I discovered this. Is this someone's house? What is this? Looks like it's someone's house. Huh, okay. I'll take your apples. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Um, How close are we? We're, we're pretty close. I mean, here's where the explosion happened. You can see it, it definitely, it went a decent distance. So, I, I mean, we should be, we should be close to seeing it on our map. Ooh, do you reckon this is part of it? Hmm. You know what? I see some drop. Oh my god! I think this is part of it. No way. This is this is just it's just a mountain. That looks like part of it though. Holy moly! So that's the that's the epicenter, and it looks like that goes around like that because that's where I died. So that's where it I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we have a <laughs> we have a rent. Yeah, this is. This is all part of the explosion. I don't know what this is. Not a clue what this is, but but that's fine. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. We can go in it. What? A waystone. Okay. Can I? Does my base one still exist? Okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll 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 be back. I'll be back. All right. I should be able to yoink this. And now, can I fly? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're we're back in business. Um. So here's obviously the epicenter. You can see where our previous mine colony bases were. Let's head over in this direction and see what we're looking at. So yeah, as you can see, all of this got ripped apart. This was um. This was that base we saw that was uh next to us. Absolutely pulverized. Oddly enough, though, some parts don't look as badly ripped apart as like this, for example. Oh my god. And all the trees are just absolutely demolished holy moly okay so yeah you can see that's the what's the bigger explosion this went all the way out until pretty much there i think that's the the range of it so that that's pretty decent right that's a decent amount this one went from here out here i think it's bigger i'm gonna be honest i think this is uh, a little bit bigger especially if you count right to the edge that definitely yeah okay Okay, pretty decent explosion. Like, all of this is gone. It doesn't exist. But luckily, like, look, there's like a streak of of not destroyed base right through um where this base was. Pretty lucky, pretty lucky. Um, So yeah, I, I think that's pretty good. I think that's a nice, uh, a, a nice wrapping up point for this episode. Um, Yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. Okay, so I, I hopped on and I was going to um, go over to the donator area, but once again, we're lagging because we just loaded in. But I don't know if you saw the chat, um, but of course the server's rebooting just as I hop on because that's that's usually what happens here. Um, I was going to quickly go to the donator tower and say, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the series. Hopefully you... <laughs> the series isn't over. Spoil spoiler alert, the series is not over. Sadly, I know, sadly. Um, but... 
thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you have enjoyed the series so far. Um, we've obviously hit a bit of a milestone here. Um, thank you to everyone who has supported me financially over the years, whether it's um, watching ads or supporting me through donation links or channel memberships. Thank you, all. thank you guys, each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to Gelzio2, Caden, Oracle, Skeletor Jacob, Oethus, Derpy's No Luna, Mugs, um, v Rifty, and to Coolest. Uh, all who have supported me through donation links and uh, channel memberships. And thank you again to Caden, uh, V Rifty, and Mugs who donated and to channel members. So uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you to everyone else who's donated. I know there's someone who's donated. I, I tracked it down, but um, I don't know specifically. You know what? I think on Discord, it was someone called like Meep Meep. <laughs> so, so if that's you, thank you. Thank you for donating. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.